Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Welcome to Bridges here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv. Welcome to Bridges! Kamusta na po kayo? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all the viewers around the world. And happy, hopeful 2021! Nakakatuwa di po ba? This show is brought to us by the UST Graduate School Alumni Association. And thank you, of course, uh, Dr. Nandi Pedrosa, the president of UST, Graduate School Alumni Association. And definitely, we also have to thank Engineer Jeffrey Carlos Mir, the President of Thermal Power Climate Change Incorporated, and Nilda Pedrosa, real estate broker and former counselor of Palo Leite. Thank you very much. And good evening, Claude. Claude is our my co-host for tonight. Hi, good yes, evening. Claude. Good evening, Professor Evelyn Sonko. Happy New Year to you. Uh, or as I playfully say it, Happy New Year uh, to yeah. you and to all to all the viewers of uh, this show. Thank you for having me again as your guest host for this month. I'm always happy to be doing this with you, ma'am. <laughs> and of course, we are also very happy to have you, Claude. How was Thank your you. Christmas season? Ma'am, you know, tayo, eh? How was it? Ma'am, yesterday uh, at work, uh, I was asked the same question by a colleague, and you know, I said chill. Yeah, because uh, my Christmas break was just chill, literally and figuratively, as far as the family was concerned. Uh, uh, yun lang, relaxed lang po, ma'am. And I, I like yeah. spending Christmas that way, because before that, it was work, uh, stress. So you know, it's time to be with your family, to be reflective, and to to rest. And to enjoy yeah, that's, true. Uh, that's uh -huh. true. yeah okay actually very peaceful nga eh, ang ating new year yung uh, pag welcome natin sa new year very peaceful and you see what's yours nakita mo yung, yeah nakita mo ba yung video how manila the city of manila welcome 2021 nakita mo ba it's beautiful ang galing nila diba yung countdown Nako, congratulations to the city of Manila and of course kay Mayor Isko, di ba? Galeng? Ma'am, unfortunately, I wasn't able to watch that. But however, you know, since December, uh, my friends and I have been going to Manila because there's a restaurant there I'd like, I like to eat at. We like to eat at. Mm -hmm. And we'd walk from Service Road, Ross Boulevard to Heroes Park, the one fronting uh, the post office. Ang ganda, ma'am. And that it's beautiful, it's well lit, and it's something I would like to congratulate the Manil Manilenios for. And my friends and I plan to go back there soon to take film pictures and videos of the fountain and the light. So beautiful. Oh. Congratulations, Manilenios. Wow. Uh, Very uh, wonderful start of 2021. And tayo yes. rin sa Bridges. Ang ganda din ang umpisa natin, ha? It's yes, very beautiful because our topic... This month is really concentrated on improving the environment. Yes. Diba? Excited ka ba? That's why this evening we're going to talk about vertical gardens 
in urban spaces. Okay ba yun, Claude? Would yes, you like to introduce our Would you like to introduce our guest tonight? Yes, ma'am, I would like to. Our guest for tonight is Dr. Eva T. Estrada. Dr. Estrada is a graduate of PhD in Development Studies from the USD Graduate School, where she also obtained Bachelor of Science in Commerce, major in Business Administration. Her interest in health sciences motivated her to obtain Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Makati. Uh, she is a member of mountaineering, gardening, and plant enthusiast groups. As such, she founded the Luntiang Pader Movement in Makati City. Her advocacy is making this world a better place to live in through symbiotic relationship between man and nature. And, you know, we're very happy and excited to listen to her sharing tonight. Let us all have uh, Dr. Eva. Hi, Dr. Eva. Uh -huh. Hi, hello, Dr. Sanko and Claude. To all hello. the viewers of Bridges, good evening to all of you. It's good Sunday evening. and I couldn't thank you enough for lending me your ears to know more about vertical gardening. Oh, thank welcome you. to the show, Eva. I'm very happy that you were able to come. You know, alam ko, very busy ka. But I'm sure okay. ikaw talaga yung makakapag-share ng napakadaming insights about vertical garden in urban spaces. You tell us nga, paano ka naging interested sa vertical gardening? Um, Actually po, my background in mountaineering as a personal hobby and um, the organization's advocacy to protect and uh, preserve the environment in our little ways have pushed me to continue in this endeavor. And um, we do a lot of um, um, educating the people living around the mountains on how to take care of the environment. And we did a lot of um, mountain cleanups and participated in many tree planting activities in the mountains and in the lowlands. So um, I was amazed by the beauty of nature and how God has empowered us to become stewards of God creation. And um, I believe that each one of us can do our part as well. So since I can climb mountains, that much anymore because of physical challenges you know naman that we're not getting any younger so um i need to think of ways where i could bring down nature to urban spaces and my inspiration was drawn from my travels in europe where vertical gardens was really promoted by um not uh, no other than patrick Blanc, who is the father of vertical gardens and um you could see that also in Singapore and other Asian countries you know, where they start promoting biophilic cities. But um, one challenge in urban spaces is that we have limited spaces and we can just plant trees anywhere. So I thought uh, that this vertical gardening can be an alternative activity for urban residents to engage in. So unlike um, horizontal gardening, Vertical gardening can maximize use of vertical spaces and like um, just a wall or a fence or grills of the windows or gates or even posts or other vacant wall. Um, but just like any gardens, it has the same benefits as those of keeping horizontal or ground gardening or ground gardens. And this can be for beautification or aesthetic purposes. So if you just imagine a street with each house as having vertical gardens in front of their houses, you could be amazed you know, on how pleasant it is to look at. So in the neighborhood, um, it paves way for halting the garbage dumping by neighbors you know, and other misbehavior, like for instance, doing the graffiti wall. Like for instance, um, now that they have don't have space not to vandal the walls because it's already a vertical wall garden yeah. so for the social benefits since we share common interest so vertical gardens became a vertical gardening became a social gathering activity so since everybody were busy as the bees so chismisan no? was replaced by talking um about their gardens and how to take care of their plants and um installation of their wall gardens became a social activity for us. Um, for the environmental benefits, it promotes biodiversity as um, has been observed. Now we tend to enjoy 
um, a lot. Uh, enjoy to see a lot of butterflies, bees, and birds roaming around and visiting our garden. It also helps us improve the air quality because uh, plants absorb toxins from our environment. And it also teaches gardeners to find ways to recycle, reuse, and um, reduce waste. No? For their fertilizers, um, they just make of hugas bigas or hugas isda or coffee brew, which we collected from a um, from the coffee shops. And the therapeutic benefits also can't be overemphasized. They call their gardens a garden of healing because it serves as a stress reliever. So this is the fun, funniest part. So sometimes relatives of the gardeners will tell me, um, alam mo, Eva, si mami, eh maghapo na sa garden. Di na namamalaya ng oras. And I think all the plantitos and plantitas out there could relate, no? So even for my patients who have Alzheimer's disease or those with disabilities, and the widows in the community, they find comfort in this activity. And But some of the distinct benefits of vertical gardening is that, which according to um, Patrick Blanc, Unlike horizontal or ground gardening, vertical garden is just like a canvas, you know, facing the gardener. So you paint, you create the design of your garden um, that pleases you, and it is it is it serves an an expression of the gardener. So it also regulates uh, temperature because it can slowly block the heat of the sun passing through the wall of your house. And for the spiritual benefits, the gardeners found this gardening activity putting themselves as being stewards of God's creation. They manifest this by keeping their garden as a living testimony. And last but not the least, on the economic side, they started to keep their herbal plants or their herbal gardens, started growing eggplant or ampalaya to climb their walls as they found growing their own food from their hands. So that's it. Ma'am, Eva, thank you for, for sharing with us all that. And I can just imagine if, you know, those passers-by, you know, outside your house, you know, see your uh, vertical gardens, they would think twice about just throwing about pieces of trash about just about anywhere. Of course. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, Ma'am, you also founded the Luntiang Pader Movement. What is the nature of this movement, po? Um, actually, the Metro Manila Development Authority have um, vertical projects along EDSA in the underpass of, um, also in the underpass of Manila and Quezon City. And as you may observe, some of these vertical gardens were not practically sustained. So I just thought, uh, why don't we bring this down to the household level so that each household could take care of their own gardens. So it started with the neighbors until we were modeled by other organizations and neighboring barangays in Makati City. So it was pioneered and sustained by hardworking senior citizens of Sitio 6 Barangay Kasilawan who were very active in promoting vertical gardening. So I started empowering them by educating them about the vertical garden concept and reviving the spirit of by any hand so it's like this no so anyone in the neighborhood who express their desire or intention to start a garden those who already have the garden will help the gardener for the installation of the wire mesh that will hold the garden so each gardener will contribute their share of plants pots and some even they contributed soil. So when the garden is installed, we have this handover ceremony of the sponsors to the benefactors, no, and recite a creed. Oh, oh Claude. Wow, my creed. Oh, may may nagaganap na panunumpa, which goes like this, no? Imipasa ang isang pasong halaman, no, to sa gardener, which goes like this. Sasabihin, ipa pinapasa ko sa iyo ang halamang ito na why ito ang iyong alagaan para sa kapakanan ng ating kalikasan. At sasagot naman yung gardener na tumatanggap ng halaman. No, nangangako ako na aalagaan ko ang mga halamang ito. Very dramatic. Ano? Ito ang aking parte sa pag-aalaga ng inang kalikasan at pagtataguyod 
sa mga halaman ay pinagkatiwala sa akin ng Panginoon Diyos. At syempre, Claude, Dr. Songko, dahil may panunong nagaganap, paninindigan nila ito. Yes, ma'am. Talagang because what you're doing is really special. It deserves that kind of ceremony. At siguraduhin lang na ma-video para mas ma-motivate silang, ano, mas ma-motivate silang, ano, i-realize yan, to see it through. Di ba po, Ma'am Songko? Yeah, it is really very beautiful. At saka, nakikita mo, ha, it's really a very great social activity in the neighborhood. And instead of doing uh, other things, which probably will not be very useful to the community, mas nagkakaroon ng activity which is really which is really very useful to the individual and it benefits the community as well. And it benefits the environment. You know, I can see uh, that many of those who are active in your uh, movement are senior citizens. I'm so happy to know that because that gives the senior citizen more meaning in their life. Diba? Exactly. Can you tell exactly. us about the stories of the senior citizens who are involved in vertical gardening? Happy ba sila? Natutuwa sila, no? Dahil yes, they're actually oh. here. Yes, oh, can you tell oh. us about their stories, Eva? Actually, initially po, I thought of empowering the youth in this activity. But it seems that they have a lot of things on their plates. You know, they're busy with the schools and they prefer to engage in social media activity. So with my observations, the senior citizens will have much better time to engage in this type of activity. And when I started this movement, I observed that most people who express their interest in this type of activity are the senior citizens themselves. So you will be interested with their stories of the senior citizens while they are journeying in their lives in vertical gardening. So most of them find vertical gardening as avenues for self-expression. So they believe that their personalities and values are mirrored no, in their garden. So may nagsasabi na kung ano ang itsura ng garden mo, nagpapakita ito kung ano ang pinahalagahan mo at misan pa mas worse, kung anong pagkatao meron ka. Masyado exaggerated, no? But now, from this perspective, they try to keep their garden attractive. So, most of our gardens here in Sitio 6, Barangay Kasilawan, have garden names posted in each garden at their front houses. So, these names like um, Garden of Generosity, Garden of Love, Couple power, service, empowerment, garden of caring, garden of responsibility, garden of comfort, garden of compassion, stewardship, garden of beauty, garden of passion, garden of happiness, garden of patience, and garden of wisdom. So these garden names also um, became a talking point for the gardeners to introduce the vertical garden concept to passers-by in the street. So for example, so one gardener whose name, who names her garden, Garden of Generosity. This is, in reality, he is a happy giver. So she is one of those who help promote the vertical garden. So she shares her knowledge, her skills, and um, her experiences, and even her resources to help the senior citizen to have their own garden. Kasi naman po, di ba, Dr. Soko, nakakahiya naman kung ang pangalan ng garden mo is garden of generosity tapos hindi ka namimigay ng halaman no <laughs> and another gardener finds comfort in gardening when his husband passed on two years ago so she named her garden garden of comfort when his husband was still alive kasi they used to have coffee in the mornings uh, together no so now that he's gone um he always talks to her husband through her plants and another, we also have a male gardener who is a lay minister in our um, barangay, in our parish, who's, who named his garden, Garden of Stewardship. So because he believes that we have the responsibility to take the garden, uh, to, take the, uh, to take care of um, plants, um, which is God's creation. So um, these names reflect what they value the most and um, re 
service and the values they want to promote you know, in the community, in the neighborhood, or to the passersby. So it has been said no, by Scott Jeffrey, if I may quote, that the values aren't selected, so they're discovered. We don't choose mm, our values. Yeah, our yeah. values yeah. reveal them to us. And this is what the distinct characteristic of the Lunti Ang Pader movement. Um, it's not only gardening that we promote, but the value, values that grows through this gardening activity. Yan po. Ah, so beautiful. Claude, what can you say? Ma'am, you know, one of my Ma'am, um, one of my concerns as a resident of, you know, uh, Metro Manila is that, you know, I have mixed feelings about the fact that we're becoming very urbanized at the expense of the environment. So if that is the direction that Metro Manila or any city in the Philippines or the world is going, it's a good idea to really have vertical gardens at your house. So it's good that we have this episode and we have Dr. Eva talking to us about this and how others in the community, in her community, are influenced. Because I think this is a very good idea, especially in places po, Ma'am Songko, na talagang yeah. kulang ng walang masyadong parks, that's very, very highly populated po. Di po, po Ma'am? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That was, I also want to ask Dr. Eva, because, you know, many people may who are watching us may want to get into, into this. Did you document all the things in connection with vertical gardening activities? Yes, I did po. Um, in my quest for ways to how to contribute to community development, uh, I did an ethnographic study on the everyday lives of the vertical gardeners in our barangay. So, and this has been part of my dissertation paper in my doctorate degree in UST. And as a matter of fact, um, it has been published in the Journal of Nature Studies. And as far as I know, this is the only published article you know, uh, on vertical gardening among senior citizens in the Philippine setting that has been publicized. So if you will access the Journal of Nature Studies, um, you may find the title uh, 15 Shades of Green, Portrait of Filipino Citizen Vertical Gardeners. So these 15 shades of green represents uh, represent the 15 gardeners and the value they uphold in their vertical gardening pursuits. So if um, if you have the slides, can we show some of the pictures of the vertical gardens?
Wow. That is so nice, Eva. What else can I say? It's really Actually, very beautiful. Actually, ma'am, one, one, one of, uh, two of my uh, gardeners already passed on. And you know what? When oh. we are in the way of the, of the gardener, uh, their relatives promise na numpa sila sa harap ng bangkay ng gardener na aalagaan nila yung naiwang vertical garden so i'm so happy that um the um the, the family are involved in this um endeavor yeah and it has become also a uh, commitment of the family and i think the yes, families are also very happy that the senior yes, citizens in their homes are actually uh you know making the environment a better place to live in no okay. it's a beautiful advocacy that you have what are your plans for the future and i maybe i could also ask uh what do you think can the government do in order to promote further uh vertical garden in urban spaces oh uh, my plans in the future are uh, well I will continue to promote uh, vertical gardens through sharing my knowledge, my skills, and experience in gardening. And um, we will continue to promote it in schools, companies, and other organizations who might be interested in this activity. So two years ago, po, the Makati government, um, through their community building program, has awarded us as one of the outstanding community among the 32 barangays in Makati. And um, this recognition pushed us to continue with our advocacy. Our local barangay also, Barangay Kasilawan, through our Barangay Captain and all the, the, the Kagawads, have been supporting our activities through helping us um, um, helping us or the households to have vertical gardens as we cooperate also in their uh, clean and green projects. On top of this, um, the Department of Environmental Services of Makati also uh, has been giving support by providing us plans for those who requested from them. And in my humble thoughts, um, and it has been said, you don't need to do big or great things to help your country. So we can help our community in our own little ways by helping and supporting each other with the resources we help on hand. And that indeed is the Bayanihan spirit. That works. Um, uh, Bayanihan spirit works in this way. You know, Dr. Evelyn Sanko, I just noticed in the video of Do Dr. Eva, you know the line, bloom where you are planted. And Dr. Eva, I think that line in that video really represents you because you said you went mountaineering and you had yes. gone to Europe where you were yes. exposed to all these things. And I believe in in acquiring knowledge when you go out of your comfort, your immediate surroundings, go going going out, going leaving leaving the country and bringing back ideas. And you are that you represent that line because you brought it back to where you live, which is in Makati. And yes, now it's, yes, yes. Yeah, I found myself to to all the for, to all my endeavors in the mountaineering. In a kept on cut ko pa ng bundok, sinisip ko ang kailaliba ng dagat, pero yung pala, sinasabi nga la, bloom where you are planted, I found myself being planted in my own community. Kung saan-saan pa ako nagpupunta, eh dito lang pala makikita at magagawa ako ang isang napakahalagang bagay na makukutulong sa ating maliit na pamamaraan sa ating bansa. Ang sabi nga, ang sabi nga ni Mother Teresa, no? Do little yes, so. thing with great love. Yes. yes. I was little things with great love. Mag magtatanim, maliit, yes. at lumalaki ang ating tanim. At napakadami yes. na ngayon, ha, na mga plantito, plantita, may plant, plantamam, at ngayon dumadami. Plantila, at saka si plantilo. Mga, nag, mga lolo at lola na nagpa-plant ng mga halaman. So, actually, very nice because you see, nag- nagtatanim ng mga magagandang halaman at nagtatanim ng mga namumungang halaman. And it's really very beautiful. Eva, what is your final message to our viewers tonight? My final message po, um, yun nga po, kagaya na masabi ko kanina, hindi natin kailangan gumawa ng malalaking bagay na makakatulong sa ating bayan. 
we just need to do in our own little ways. Mag-umpisa po tayo sa ating tahanan, mag-umpisa po tayo sa ating kapaligiran, humanap po tayo ng pamamaraan kung saan tayo pwede magtadim. Kung wala po tayong espasyo, wala po tayong excuse kasi pwede po tayo mag-create ng vertical garden. And in this way po, in our own little ways, no, makakatulong po tayo sa ating um, kabahayan kasi po uh, makakatulong ito sa ating environment, sa ating mga kapitbahayan, and um, in totality po sa ating community. And um, maybe it could also um, sum, sum it up, makakatulong po ito sa ating bansa. Yan po. Sana po, um, I would like to give uh, thanks to all the plantitos and plantitas na na, na talaga pong um, lumalago ang kanilang desire no, to plants. And, um, and natutuwa po yung mga senior citizen na Makati na at sinasabi nga nila, nagyayabang sila, yung noong pa kami plantito at plantita eh. Uh, ngayon, ngayon lang sila nakahalaman kami noong pa. And, then, and, and I praise them for that. Okay. You are oh, well, yes. The term, kayo na po yung term na yon plantitas, plantitas, even before it became a fad recently. <laughs> kayo. Uh, by, yeah. by the way, Dr. Rasonko and Dr. F. Dr. Eva, you know, uh, because, you know, we are going live, we have some people uh, watching us and we were very happy to read out the messages uh, to you. So, uh, from Jerry L. Tuco, Ma'am Tonko and I can read it alternately. From Jerry L. Tuco, good evening, Ma'am and Sir Carl Ibalita. Yan po. Next. Uh -oh. Ma'am? From Happy New from Year daw from... Uh, Dr. Pedrosa, happy new year now. And then, Hi, yes, who else do we have? From Ma Morena Canizares. From Morena. Hello. Hello, Hi, Doc. Let's get this from the Property Club of Makati. And then, up next, ma'am. And batingin mo rin yung, yung mga senior citizens. Opo. Hi, hello po sa mga senior citizens. Um, I couldn't thank them enough for supporting me um, in this endeavor. At yung akin din po mga kataga, ano, Rotary Club of Makati Poblacion, um, they're also supporting me in this uh, projects. Yeah, Nanette Fernandez said hello. Tapos, Leywelin Kalimlim is support urban gardening. Yes. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Tapos, Diana, Diana Gutierrez. Hi, Claude. Ha? May panka, Claude. She's my principal at Jasom's Quezon City where I teach. Yeah. Oh, really wonderful. Happy New Mom, Year to all, especially to all Arthamasians all over the world, particularly all the frontliners from Ida Tiongko. Yeah, okay. tapos ma'am, so Leywalin Kalimlim, not only seniors but also millennials nowadays join urban gardening maybe because of the influence of social media and other groups related to gardening yeah, tama. If they yes, can start. Oh, oh. <laughs> Talagang napapanahon, no? So let oh, us now. Thank you. Watching daw from Manila. Oy, congratulations, Dr. Mira. Ang galing ng inyong start sa 2021. Maripe is the president of the Atelier Alumni Association. Happy New Year from the Atelier. And Morena, next time ako naman ang guest. Okay, why not? Come on over. <laughs> okay. Great idea to start a new year. Good ideas. Wow, marami kang na influenza, Eva. Mm, that's very nice. Let us now thank our uh, guest, uh, Claude. Dr. Eva, thank you so much for sharing with us. My pleasure, my pleasure for the person. Thank you so much, Eva. Yeah. We're coming and, you know, and joining us tonight. Go ahead. Yeah, we, we would also like to thank the UST Graduate School for sponsoring the show tonight. Thank you, Dr. Fernando Pedrosa, President of the Graduate School Alumni Association, as well as to engineer Jeffrey Carlos Mir, President of Thermo Power Climate Change Incorporated, and Nilda, Nilda Pedrosa Hernet, real estate broker and former counselor of Palo Leite. So good luck to all the vertical gardeners of Makati and everywhere else. Yes. Thank you. And, ma'am? 
Thank you so much, everyone. Those of you who uh, viewed us today, thank you so much. Happy New Year. Let us take care of our Mother Earth. And let's yeah. start with our own immediate environment. Claude? Yes. And thank you, everyone, for joining us this evening here on Bridges. We do not build walls. We build connections of learning. We build knowledge. Mam Sonko. And here, here on CBRC, we build bridges of faith, bridges of hope, and bridges of love. Here Thank in you. CBRC, bridges, we bring to you connections of hope, bridges of hope, bridges of faith, and bridges of love. Thank you very much for watching. Yeah. Welcome to Thank Bridges you. here at CBRC.tv. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all our viewers around the world. Hi, good evening, Dr. Evelyn Songko, at sa mga viewers ng ating Bridges. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Again. Another... And hello, good evening, good morning, or good afternoon to our uh, viewers on Bridges here on CBRC.tv.